Welcome back to my channel guys. Here in this video we are going to play a simple HTML project and it is a questionnaire project as you can see here. So it is what it is going to look like and uh, what it's going to do is that this is a questionnaire form so whenever someone fill this form then it is going to submit this this form this form details then I'm going to show you where it is going to be stored. So to get it started let me demonstrate this one. So if I come to the personal information I start filling it. So for the name let me say it is say it is today i'm going to put the age here i'm going to set the age maybe let's say 11 and i'm going to select the gender let me say mary and uh, for the questions you can see here questions once what is your favorite light color i'm going to say maybe let's say it is blue but also i'm going to question number two what is your favorite animal i'm going to say okay elephant and uh, the question is, what is your favorite food? I'm going to say, okay, it is, let me say it is, okay, let me say it is, it is, let's say it is pizza. Okay, now I'm going to submit this form. So after submitting the, the JavaScript, I, I have also declared a simple JavaScript code, which is going to send all of this information here. As I can see, if I come to developer tools here on this web browser, this one, if I come to this one questionnaire, you can see here the, the details here this one so you can see age this one gender but also name questions question two and the question three so guys this is our project we are going to create in this video guys so i hope this video it's going to have some value to you guys so stay tuned and let's get it started okay here as you can see i'm going to do the video studio code and i'm going to start creating the html file guys so i'm going to select the the language here to be html and i'm going to save this file to my computer and uh, let me select here this one and I'm going to save this one let me say let me save this one at the let me say it is questionnaire and uh, I'm going to, to save this file so this is the HTML code and I'm going to start by demo by declaring the HTML code and the uh, let me change the, the title here, the, the title of the page. So the title of the page I'm going to, let's say it is questionnaire. And uh, I'm going to, I'm going to, to start lighting the, the HTML code guys. So now I'm going to shift to the board. And as you can see, this is the, is the HTML, general, general HTML code. So I'm going to start by declaring the the header and the the header for this one. I'm going to use h1 tag, and I'm going to say it is let me say it is a questionnaire, and I'm going to also declare the 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 form now because it will be a form. So I'm going to to, to put a form so. So I'm going to, to declare a form and uh, as you can see here, I'm, going, I'm not going to, to use an action for this demonstration. I'm going to put the ID because at the end of this, I'm going to take this ID and uh, connect it to the, to, the, to the JavaScript, to the JavaScript code in order to, to get the result. So I'm going to put the ID for this form, which is going to be a questionnaire. And, uh, now inside this form, I'm going to have the two things. I'm going to have the two field set. So I'm going to declare the first field set. So the first field set, and uh, inside this first field set, I'm going to select the. I'm going to fill the personal information. So so I'm going to start the filling the personal information. So here I'm going to say it is. So this will be personal information. And uh, what I'm going to do next, I'm going to start label to, to start creating the, the content inside this personal information. And I'm going to start by clear, creating a label and I'm going to say, for, so for the for the first label will be for the name. So, and uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to, to set here to the name. And uh, what I'm going to do next, I'm going to put the input for this one. So, the, the input for this one will be of type text and I'm going to I'm going to <clears throat> add some of the of the issue here 
So I'm going to add the ID to this one and the ID will be, but also I'm going to, to add the, add the required. So this is a, the must filling information and the, I'm going to put the, the black here. So if you don't know, then if this is black, it is going to, 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 to leave the space. It is going to, to create the space between this element here and the, 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 the one that is going to, to follow this one. So it is going to leave the two space and the, then it is going to, to start the, the new label here. And the, for our second label will be for, our second label will be for age. And the, as you can see, I'm going also here to put the, I'm going to put the age. So what I'm going to do next, I'm going to set the, the input for the, for the age also. So the, the input for the age will give, is going to be number. So so here our input is going to be not not a text but i'm going to delete this i'm going to say our, our input now it is type number and i'm going to set the id for this one so the id here also will be let me put age and uh, what i'm going to do also i'm going to set this one to the, to the required so this is must fill must fill the must fill the portion and i'm going also to declare the the two two black <coughs> Black tag, so be alert is stand for for black tag. It is going to leave the two space between the edge, edge between the the, the edge field and the, the 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 following field. I'm going to to declare which is for gender, and I'm going to say another label here. It is for gender. So, and what I'm going to do next here, I'm going also to put the the gender. So this is for gender. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to select the. Now I'm going to. As you can see, this gender it is will be automatic because we always know that gender are of specific. So of specific. So I'm going to, to put the selection here instead of putting the 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 inputs at the the two fields above. So I'm going to I'm going to select. So and I'm going to say <coughs> I'm going to set the ID and I'm going to set also the the name. So the name will be. And the ID also, I'm going to put there as well to the to gender. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to have the three options here. Three, I'm going to have the the, the, the first to three options. I'm going to start to star. It's the first option. So the value for the first options will be will be let's say. Select gender. This is our, the the first info, the first options, and I'm going to declare the 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 second options now. So the second option, the second option will be for value will be male and a, and a here I'm also I'm going to put male here, and a, I'm going to do the same for the for the option number option another options which you now will be for, for female. Also, here I'm going to select. Also, I'm going to to put the another options here in case if someone is out of of these options above, and I'm going to say here will be for. If you think you have an, an other gender, so this is the options you need to fulfill. So here will be other. So here the what I'm going to do next. I'm going to put the black to this one because I want to leave the space. So here will be a black. So what I'm going to do next, I'm going to save this to, to show you how it is going to look like up to here. So if I save these changes here, and uh, let me come here, this one, and uh, let me open this. So now you can see how it is going, it, this is how it look like. So this is a, as you can see, this is the options we make, and uh, this is the, 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 the first, uh, the first field set we create and we're going to create the, the second field set and as you can see the BLA the, the BLA tag black tag are uh, this space you see here because of the black tag so let's come back here and uh, proceed with our <coughs> with our with our job guys so also I'm going to put the black to leave the space between the between this between these two field field set and uh, also I'm going to to create the another field set here so the second field is set here, 
and uh, for this second field, field set i'm going to to create another legend here will be questions here will be four for the questions and uh, now i'm going to start declaring the, the questions so i'm going to have the three questions so let me start with label and uh, the first label will be for for question one before the question one and uh, here i'm going to put something let's say it is it is question it is question one and uh, our question one will be what is your favorite color so what is your what is your favorite color tell us and uh, now i'm going to this is the label for the first question and uh, now we're going to to collect the input so because the the, the user is going to fill this so it'll be the type text and i'm going to set to give the id here so let me give it an id here so the id will be question one and also i'm going to the name for this one will be also question one so what i'm going to do i'm going to set also this to the required so we need to fill this so this is the, the required information now i'm going to to add some of the of the black tag here to leave the space okay now i'm going to the to the second level and uh, let me let me copy this i'm going to duplicate this and uh, okay Okay, now for the second it will be question two. And uh, here I'm going to change also from the what is your favorite color? What is your favorite animal? What is your favorite animal? Now what I'm going to do next, I'm going to to the second. Day. Okay, let me take this up. Here will be two. Here will be two also and i'm going to select this one to question three and uh, what i'm going to change here it is what is your favorite food so instead of color here will be will be food and uh, as well i'm going to sell I'm, I'm going to change this one to to three as well as this one to three also so all of these are are required field and uh, as you can see i have already at this black tag here the two black space should be left between the 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 two questions between one question to another so you, you're going to see because i'm going to to show you how it is going to look like so this is how our form it is look like right now so let me save these changes and I, i'm going to i'm going to save this change now because I'm, before i'm I save these changes let me come here and I, and, I, and I finish with the submit button let me finish with the submit button so I'm going to leave the space between the submit button and the end of this second field so what i'm going to do here i'm going to to have the input the input will be of type submit and because this will be the submit and the, the value to this one the value will be submit so now i'm going to save these changes and uh, if we come back to our browser here and the refresh the page so i hope you can see now the job is all done so you can see the obvious so it's all done guys so what i'm going to do next i'm going to i'm going to write a simple javascript code so that it is going to accept this the information we feel here and it is going to to show us in our in our console so what i'm going to do next i'm going to connect the the javascript to connect the javascript you need to come all the way here down so if you come all the way here down and then to connect the, the javascript just like the script like there or like like this one and then you need to 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 put the source of your of your 
you need to put the source here and uh, the source to the oh source will be here so okay let me save the javascript also this this one but it is going to be the javascript though because all those javascript is end up with the dot j s are the as expression for javascript file so what i'm going to do next i'm going to connect i'm going to light the the javascript code here so to let the javascript code it is it is too simple guys and then we are going to let it in our html as you can see so then come here and uh, to to start but by starting i'm going to what i'm going to do i'm going to first i'm going to to get the questionnaire element from the html document and, uh, and store it in a in a certain variable as you can see if you, if you come all the way the up here you can see there there is a questionnaire id here. so i'm going to get this from here so to get the form to, from to, from the HTML to the JavaScript, I'm going to start by by declaring the the, the variable. You say the variable. I'm going to say let me call the the variable for the form be the form also. And uh, so to get the the, the 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 form the the form this from the from the from the HTML, we're going to write something. So it will be document dots to get element by id because we declare by the id so here will be the id for for for, for our form here it is questionnaire so let me copy this and i come all the way here let me paste this so here it is how you can get the you can get the html to connect to the javascript code because we are going to we're going to we, are, we have already get the form so this is the element we are going to target so now i'm going to do what i'm going to do next i'm going to add the event list and to to this to this form variable so to do so i'm going to say to add the event list and to this one so it will be form and uh, for this one i'm going to say i'm going to add the the, the event listener here so this event listener so So the event listener to to listen to our submit, and uh, so I'm going to 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 create a, a simple a simple function, guys. To this one here. So. As you can see, what I'm going to do next, this line of code, it's, it, we are going to add the list, event listener to to the form variable, guys, because the 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 the, the, the event listener we're going to add it is going to listen for the for the form submit event. So when the when the when the someone submitting to our form, this one it is going to when someone click the submit button, send the the form data, it is going to to be sent to our to our server, and then then the page it is going to to refresh so what we're going to do that's why i'm going to to start declaring this function here and then i've already added the event list so now now will be even those we're going to we're going to, to prevent the, the default because the event listener will be will be triggered whenever someone click on the submit button so okay let me let me add semicolon here and there now <clears throat> this is another variable here so this line of code here this the 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 prevent to default it is going to do for what is going to do the the code prevent to the default for the submission behavior so this it is going to prevent the the default form submission behavior so by default when when the user click on the submit button the the form is sent is sent to the save and the, the page it is going to be refreshed guys so 
and then what I'm going to do declare now I'm going to I'm going to create a, a form data a new form data object for for, for for from the from the form variable guys so to create the, to create the this object is what I'm going to do now so as we all know that to create a new object we're going to use the new keyword so the object now it is Okay, now what I'm going to do next, I'm going to I'm going to 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 use the the this object object from the from this one. I'm going to create a, another object method to convert the the form data object into a, into a regular JavaScript object. So this is done so that the we can easily access form data in in a queue in a value in a value format. So to do so, I'm going to So here will be our so here will be will be will be object in the object dot of entries and the here I'm going to to put this one. Data dot entries and then put this one in there. I'm going to close this. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to log to the, the form data to the console. So to log the form data to the console, it is too simple. Just console dot log then it is our our our, our form object so so now i'm going to so you can do so you can do something with the with the form data here and uh, like send it to the server or store it to a, to a local storage guys so what i'm going to do next i'm going to i'm going to to <coughs> to set the, the field to the to their default value guys so to set the field to their to set the form to their to the default value so i'm going to set the, the form dot reset so yeah it is going to to set the form to the to the default value guys so as you can see here it is all done let me put here semicolon Okay guys, so here it's all done. Let's test to see the, the functionality of our job. So let me start here, let's say. Okay, age, let's say it is this one. Let's say it is male. What is your favorite color? Let's say. What is your favorite animal? Let's say it is. Okay, what is your favorite food? Okay, let's say it is. Now we have already submit, so let's let come to the console here. Okay, there is a problem. Failed to load. Okay. So, but guys, I hope this this video had some value to you guys, and uh, you see how it is going to to do for us, guys. So, this is all about this video, guys, and uh, I hope this video has, has some value to you guys. So, okay. Since we declared the JavaScript to to this one, this one it is not needed here.
you need to come to refresh the page and there uh, you can see you can also access access here so hope this video adds some value to you guys and i hope how it is going to do for us guys so if you you like this video then drop your like and subscribe to this channel for more and valuable content guys and uh, here we reach the end thank you for this one and i will see you in the next wonderful coming video